Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Red. We're going to be taking a look at Disco Dodgeball. I've not tried this yet, so let's go and have a look, see what it's all about. Um, please feel free to chat in the comments and let me know if I need to adjust any of the volumes, which should be good. So let's check out it, check it out. So we'll have a look at the single player first. Let's do a little bit of training quickly and then see how it is. Oh, I need to invert the controls already. <laughs> Seems a little bit framey, let's just check our settings. Do you know what I That's a bit better. Hold the right trigger to charge it okay. Left bump at the sprint. Well, okay, that's fine. Press the right trigger then. Catch an enemy ball. Okay. Come on. Why press the then? Right, let's check because catch them all doesn't seem to work. Catch. Ah, oh, right trigger. Okay. I'm sure, it said right bumper before. Do apologize about this. I thought it was. Okay, hopefully we should be running alright now. Like I said, if the game volume is too high, let me know. Got it. I think it's because I'm using the controller, it's a little bit on the twitchy side compared to what I'm used to. Oh, God. There's a jump, but it's not very high. Oh. Right, let's get some disco balls. Oh. 
don't jump very high. That's the thing I'm trying to get used to. Okay, I think that's the Okay, that was training, let's have a just quick look at the controls. So that helps. Oh, let's do a bit of a well, bot match. Let's just go straight in for a bot match. You can see what it's like. Uh, capture the packet and move it to me. There's lots of different modes in here. We'll stick with deathmatch first. Oh, look at all these levels. Let's go for random, it says. Yeah, we'll stay on easy first till we get the hang of it. Stop. Just jump. Ah. Oh, I missed. It's definitely a different idea where you've got pick up a ball before you can fit like a dodgeball type thing. Right, okay, let's see what we've got now. At least the frame rate's hold up. I'm not sure how to look on the stream if the frame rate is a bit choppy. 
So I do apologize if it seems a bit choppy in there. I'm not sure what's causing that. Ah. Right, here we go. Ah. Remember, feel free to chat, or post comments, um, any tips about how to make the stream look a bit smoother let me know. I'm not sure why it's gone like that today. Not seen that happen before. But yeah it seems like a good fun game. Curious to see what the different modes are like. Oh. Let's just check our stream settings. Should be right, so I'm not sure what's causing those issues. Okay, let's see another mode. Anyone's got a preference on mode? Let me just know in the chat. See what there is. Oh, we've got levels and rewards. Might be a little while to get to. Oh, it's going straight. Right, let's change the match settings. Let's go for. Okay, so I've got a bunch of classic ones. Expert, okay. And then challenges. There's like a horde mode and stuff. Let's go for one of the classic modes. Let's try. Let's go for capture the cube. It's a bit like capture the flag, isn't it? Uh, yeah, stuck to 12. Let's maybe go back down to 8. No, that was the default, wasn't it? Let's put the bots on medium this time, see how it goes. Okay, let's check it out. There we go. Let's get this cube. Okay, I've got the cube. Keep going, can I make it? Yes. Okay, 
ですかね。お、oh.。Okay, so it's like you. So you capture a flag, but at the base, because sometimes you get capture flag and it's in the middle. But obviously it depends on the game. Still trying to get used to this aiming thing, it's not quite as easy. It's a little bit like a bit loose. Ah. But it's cool how you can see like, your wheel that you're rolling around on when you look down. Catching that ball is a nightmare. Well, at first, but and then we could catch up. Ah, so I call that one. Change the map sense. If you give me one second, I think I might find out why the stream is chopping. Okay, right, we're going to pause the stream for one sec, so please hold with us. And I'm just going to quickly change a setting so it's not as choppy for you. Okay, we're back now, which should be working a bit better, hopefully. Just let me know in the chat if there's any issues. Just go task manager to make sure we're not overdoing it. Nope, it seems fine. Okay, let's see how it goes. Thank you for waiting. We'll try the next match.
Right, we're gonna try... Let's try his tank battle, see how that goes. That looks like it should be a bit smoother now. Fire to school balls now. Yes. Oh. Got stuck on the edge there. Oh. Yeah, it's a different this time because we've got a health bar, so we keep going until our health goes down. This mode is a bit more chaotic. Yes. Oh no, that's not good. See what the other modes are. We've got arcade. Let's see what arcade is. Book buy two pounds to feel pounds. Okay. Right, let's see if we can find something. Ah, oh, missed. You really gotta be spot on on this. Yes. Okay, now we're talking. Right, okay, we've got two more. Ah. Let's start catching them all, it's tricky. You just roll into a white ball with no. <laughs> Trying to grab it, like the window of opportunity to grab it is. Ah, oh, no. Let's give that another try. Let's see if we can. Alter the controls a little bit more. Let's look at the controls actually. Throw, yeah, catch, boost. It's a slide, just right bump buttons and do do anything. Okay, let's, oh, let's lower these down a bit more. 
Maybe I'm going the wrong way, maybe that's not my issue. Well, it's worth a try, isn't it? It's all part of experimenting and this is the whole process of playing a new game, so let's see how it goes. The jump is so weird, like you hold it. Well, I didn't see that coming. Let's try the slide. No. I don't know what the slide does, I don't know if it's like a power up. Ah. I use that boost more. Stop. Okay, they were doing better than last time, that's for sure. We can buy perks, right? So what we can buy? How much money have we? Yeah, we'll go for an extra life. Okay, here we go. Level two. Skateboard half pipes here. Ah. So if you press B, you suddenly stop the... That wasn't a good time to do it. Ah, missed. At least we got a bit further that time. Oh, nearly for the next level. Okay, let's give that arcade one another try. Oh, 
Well, so far I think I've definitely played this game again. I might just adjust the settings and see why it's reacting weirdly with Twitch for some reason. But besides that, yeah, I definitely give it a recommend. I think I got this in the Steam sale the other week. I can't remember the price. You no, know, most of the stuff I bought on Steam was pretty low in price. I don't think I spent any more than a fiver on anything. That's five British pounds. But yeah, the frame rate is better than it is showing in the stream, so just keep that in mind if you're looking at this game wondering if to get it or not. Boost password. Ah. Ooh. ah, no. There's a way to make it bounce off of yours, but let's find out. Let's maybe I just shoot at the right time. Okay, round one done. Right, we need to get past arcade level two. That's our aim. Oh. Interesting though. Wait a minute. Isn't this from Mario Kart 64 Battle Mode? I think it is. That is definitely the map. Yep. Wow. No, oh, fair enough. We're gonna have a map inspired by anything. That seems like a good choice. Oh. Well, let's give that one more shot. I think before we end the stream, we'll maybe try and see if we can find an online match. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a try. Ah. Luigi. I'd be interested to see if any of the other maps are based off other maps. Firstly, there's a few Halo 3 maps that make some levels on. They've got some of my favourite maps. I don't know, have you got particularly like favourite multiplayer maps? From any game? Seems like this game is inspired to have maps similar to those. Ah. I don't know what's going on with the slide though. Oh, it does kind of work. It does something, but I don't know. The boost works. That's an idea at the last minute, like. And the bees idea, like, if you. So you need to go. Oh, I need to go there. Quick. But I think you can turn pretty quick. Right, let's see. Oh, that was close. Not many. Dodgeballs, but disco ball. Sorry. Ah, how is that still? I knew it was green, but I thought maybe it would run out by then. Ah. And the announcer sounds like the crackdown announcer, but I could be wrong. Definitely sa similar sound of voice. Um, because of technical issues, we might go a little bit later than half ten. Right, see if we can find... Right, level 
one complaint. Come on, we've got to get past level two. Let's buy. I didn't even buy that. Return. Let's go for the extra life. Yes. Maybe I just need to throw this disco balls a bit more often. I'm just hoping. Yes. See what we managed to go. Let's just quickly check. We have not missed anything. Yeah, the control functionality is a little bit tricky to get through these menus. No, yeah, but that all seems right. We'll give. There's the profile where we can decorate our guy. Yeah, let's customize. So we can choose a color and we'll go for an orangey color. That's my favorite to go for. Face. What have we got? Okay, we haven't got those yet. Let's go for the fangs. Glasses. Oh, we've unlocked a few. Okay, there's a lot of things in here. We haven't got any hats yet. Not on the heads. Okay, there's a lot to unlock in here. Four. Wow, is the effects. Okay. Okay, at least there's a lot to work towards. Right, let's see if anyone's online. It just fills it with bots in. Okay, so we're going to just do online until we someone joins in. Ah. Ah, missed.
try better this time. Ah, oh, should've got that one. Just press that jump or jump behind. I get it, if you hold it down, you can jump further, but that's a little bit tricky. It's the fire, so we need one more. The only thing I think they should add is for controller support. If you have like a a slight assist, not like a major assist, just like a bit more of a snap onto enemies or snap nearby, not like a full snap, but. If you've played some other games, you can have got like a light assist or a heavy assist. Okay, let's see what this next match is. Just gonna stay. This guy. Yes. Where's he going? Yeah. I got the cube, let's put it down enough. Yes. Alright, okay. Ah, oh, no. 
you try and catch up now. Uh, everyone's after me, quick, quick, quick. Yes, apparently we need to get Kyle. Do this if we catch up now. Fine. Right, I need this good point to get. Got the cube. Oh, hopefully, someone gets him. Yes. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's see. Yeah, got the next sword? Yes. Mold dust. Okay, team score battle. Yeah, blue team. Great. Let's do it. Started with. Go on. Come on. Well, hopefully, we'll cover this game again. We'll sort the the Twitch sends out. As I was saying, we're just streaming to Twitch has become a bit of a new thing the last couple of weeks, so we're just we're just starting up on building that and improving that. But any support will be great in helping improving our Twitch thing. But we've got lots of content on our YouTube channels as well, at Attic Panda Pops on YouTube. Which is obviously stuff we've been able to record and stuff, so everything on there runs nice and smoothly. And most part all our other Twitch streams have run. Have run smoothly, so we had some technical issues with audio, with Rogue Legacy for some reason, and then today the frame rate seems a little bit choppy for some reason. I'm not sure why. So we're gonna look into that. But we've got some great shows on the YouTube channel as well if you're to check it out. Um, boss battle. We've got some previous live streams. Some other things. We haven't done reviews. We tend to do like a more like oh we're gonna check this game out and we kind of give our opinion that way more than a review not keen on putting a score on something because you know it's a bit different for everyone and you kind of want to see what someone likes and doesn't like about a game because some things might not bother you that might bother us and vice versa so but yeah I'd recommend this yeah, it'd be nice if there was a few more people playing online but like I said this is <laughs> we're quite early in the morning and on British time as well so but all the Americans might probably still be asleep But yeah, definitely worth picking up. Especially with all these crazy steam cells going on as well. And if you like your first person shooters a bit quirky or a bit more old school. This is definitely from your era of like, you point and shoot, not like, I need to look down or I'm crouched or... More like the old arena shooters. Like your dooms and quakes. An Unreal, oh, Unreal Tournament. I missed Unreal Tournament. That is a game that needs a good full sequel. I know they were making that one. And you could like build things in it and buy it. Like people were making costumes and stuff. But I didn't hear any more about that. So I 
But yeah, if you've got a favourite arena shooter, let me know. Post it in the comments. I'm curious to see. I'm always willing to check some out. I really liked one. Oh, there was one on XBLA. Nexus, I think it was called. That was really good. But turn the servers down on all. We'll turn the servers off. So. Slide to overcharge it. Oh, okay, that's what the slide does. So let me flick for the... Uh, right, let's try again. Okay, let's see what mode's next. I like how the multiplayer kind of just mix the modes up. I wish they did in more games. I know people are funny, like, I just want this one mode, but it's nice when you go from, like, different modes. It keeps it fresh. Okay, team deathmatch. Have we done this level yet? So it seems like there's quite a good fair amount of maps. Oh, I've got the pack, the jetpack, that's handy. Okay, that's a better jump. Let's see what this power up is. Okay, it's a jetpack. Ah, no. Gotta learn how to catch these balls though.
Come on, here we go. Ah, no. no. What I find interesting is that you've got to try and find the disco ball. To try and find the things. It's not like you normal. First person shooters where you're like, oh, I've already got the gun or whatever weapon, do you mean? to the top. Okay, well, one more match. So what we're gonna give us next. Oh, it's a lightning round. Right, let's see how it goes. So yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, apologies about the few technical issues, but like I said, we're a bit new to these streams and we're just getting the hang of all the settings now. Hopefully we'll have an Elgato in the next few months and we can stream some Switch and PlayStation 4 games, some Wii U games, anything with HDMI. I've got some mini consoles as well that I want to stream. Um, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Arctic Panda Pops. Um, also on Patreon you can help support us, give us feedback, help build up our content and community. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Oh, and this, these streams will be available on YouTube as well at a later date. Just in case you want to watch something you missed. Or you can look at past broadcasts. I'll be keeping them on Twitch for as long as I can. Right, let's finish this last match. Right, we need to really catch up to get win these five rounds. It's not looking good, but you never know. It was them that won the round. No, we won, yeah. Oh, we're in red. Keep, they keep swapping so quickly. Um, right, okay. One more and then we can do it. I was looking at the other score. That's our current match score. The one in the brackets, the overall round score. Oh! Headshot there. Oh, 
Oh, we're not that anyway. Is it just loading the next match? Right, there you go. That was a look at Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball on Steam. Um, thanks for watching and join us next time on Breakfast with Bread. See you later.